started for me in 2002. Uh, I had a couple of friends that did break dancing or b-boying. And then I just watched them and I was like always interested in following, okay, what, what are they doing, man? How do you do this move? How do you... Because everything looked difficult and I'm always up for a challenge. And then I just tried some moves and that's, that's how I started. And then also, um, a couple of years later, I actually stopped in 2003. I stopped and then I started again in 2004 because my work must be working, slacked a bit. And then I started in 2004 and then I said, okay, now I'm going to do it fully. And then I started doing it fully and this is where I am today, one of the top b-boys in SA. We started a crew MWA. I don't know why, what the name was, what it meant. I think it was most wanted animate animators, yeah, because but all of us could draw. Like we were into graffiti and all that. And then um, they not joined a crew called no. I started a crew called Subject B. And then from there, I left that crew, I went to another crew called, oh, I'm f confused with the names, Immortal Style. And then from there, Immortal Style, I went to Ubuntu. Then I went to Hardcore Mentality, and then from Hardcore Mentality back to Ubuntu. And then, uh, then I ended up with Immortal Style last, no, not last year, like three years ago or two years ago. And then, I left them and started my own crew, Beetroot. There's actually little support where I come from because I'm from Mitchell's Plain. So, like the the people that I looked up to was Dennis and um, Lila, Lester Philander. Yeah, and I looked up to them and I was like, oh, they mad. I want to get like them one day. I want to look like them. And then I just created my style from that. And then afterwards, when there was no more inspiration, the only thing that I could go to was watching clips and looking at overseas footage and some of the guys like Ken Swerf, um, Crazy Legs, all that old cats. <laughs> yeah. It's actually very, very hard. Like, it's either you're gonna get a day job or you or you start like learning other styles of dancing. Because for people in South Africa it's really hard to make a living out of it and yeah so like I even have to I had to change all my styles I had to go into contemporary into be going yeah, into popping into locking into house all the different styles that pertains in be going in and in hip hop so I had to learn everything so now I'm actually looking for a solid job <laughs> which is like, uh, you have to, man, you have to have a solid job to, to get consistent income to, to what you're supposed to do to make more money, you know what I'm saying? Because South Africa is just like that. Overseas it's easier because you, when I went to France, it was like easy for me to, to dance wherever, man. Because I could dance on the street and I would still get paid more than some people get paid in a whole month. You know what I'm saying? And like, I would do a gig, one gig a weekend maybe, and it... It was so easy to make money there. And in South Africa, it's just like, uh, wait, what can I do? Because everyone is fighting for their own thing. You know what I'm saying? Because we come from a, a people that always fight for their thing. Like for apartheid, we had to fight for the change, we had to fight for... Like even now, still we're fighting to, to develop a democracy or develop Anything, man, we, we're still struggling, so it's hard, you know what I'm saying? I think people should just stick together, hip-hop artists, artists in general, should stick together and not say, ah, this guy is getting paid a thousand rand or ten thousand rand a gig, I'll do it for eight thousand rand, eight hundred rand, you know what I'm saying? To, they must never drop their stand because everyone has a standard so if you go to a graphic designing company and they charge 20,000 to do a backdrop or something 
they, they're not going to bad mouth the other person, they're not going to bring down their standard by saying, oh, okay, I'm going to give you 5,000, um, give me 5,000 and I'll do it for you, you know? So stick to your, stick to what you're good at and stick to your, your standards.